Hello, my beautiful Scorpio Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your October 1st through 15th, 2022 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's see what the universe has to say. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a struggle going on here and searching for the path. This is either external or internal conflict. And when we're in a place of creating, sometimes we find ourselves at this place. But you're not by yourself. You've got somebody helping you fend off whatever anxiety or whatever is trying to usurp you. you you've got someone helping you to, to push back on that. And they're really kind of tiny compared to these people. So, yeah. They're, they're immature people. They're, they're the energy of something that's not very formidable. So you're going to overcome this. It's just the nuisance of having to do that. Then we've got the Hermit, which is an internal exploration. And it's the energy of finding your own way through your own spiritual guidelines, right? And using the light of your soul to do it. So always be in the energy of reflection and allow yourself to go within before you make any major decisions. Make sure you resonate with it spiritually. So here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit. New opportunities coming in from all directions. This is the energy of charged, new communication, negotiation, and being in the energy of flow. So we love that as it overtakes the energy of that five of rods. We've got the eight. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Okay. Well, this is definitely <laughs> telling you, center. Get your center, allow your focus, and be in the energy of letting your internal light guide you forward. This way you avoid the pitfalls that come with our, our general existence, right? So intuition is your, is your friend here. And sometimes we have to cut bait on projects. Sometimes it's not working out the way we want or the person isn't right for it. So this is walking away from what no longer serves you, whether it's a job or someone that you were working with closely, you're literally cutting that loose so that you can move forward. Sometimes this is a negative habit. It can be anything that no longer serves you, basically. So we're going to allow that we know sometimes we have to release things and just we're better off without them entirely. Get your rest. Allow yourself to be in that place of restoration because there's been a lot going on energetically. And some of that has to do with just the process of life. And some of it has to do with the events of the, of the recent past. So allow yourself to be in that restore, rejuvenate, recover, and bring yourself to a place where you're fully taking care of yourself. Eat good food. Get enough sleep. That's the main thing. And be in the energy of, of allowing yourself the grace to do that. Because there's more to come. Uh, this is that hot and heavy mo movement of energy, the dump truckload of blessings, which means you have to activate and be in the energy of helping to process what all is coming in because it is going to come in all at the same time. <laughs> when it rains, it pours, my Scorpios. Here we have the Eight of Wands, which is negotiation and communication. It usually means communication back and forth and the energy of new excited um, energy that's coming in with new ideas and new creative zealous kind of gives you that spark we have the empress here which is the energy of being in that goddess energy new creative energy this beautiful wheel of the zodiac is a framework to help you build the new and she's here to help inspire you i call her the muse she is very much in that energy of creative energy and bringing in new ideas and this is you being very divinely focused with the justice card letting go 
of the need to see it in the now and create it in the, the ethereal energy as you divinely focus on that goal, you will create what you are visualizing here. This also means the right decision being made by you or for you. Now, we have the Five of Cups here, and that's the energy of, of whatever it is I feel like that you're letting go of here. You're trying to kind of reset yourself and get back on that high vibe. It is, um, it's okay. You will get past this. Um, just allow yourself to be in grace and move forward because you will never see what you have in store for you if you keep looking backwards at the past. You have to turn your back on that. This is dead energy. We have to let bygones be bygones, water under the bridge, and keep facing forward. And you go, but I, but, but Mystic, I was trying so hard, and it seems like it's never going to happen. It is. You're five minutes away from the miracle here. You just have to be present to win. So stay present for the future. Release the past. And be patient because we have to do sometimes whatever it takes for as long as it takes. And there's no set time, right? So divine timing is different than our timing. And there's the seraphim. So they're bringing you a double portion for, the, for the, all your trouble. So don't, don't be s sad that it took so long because you're going to get double for, for what, you, what you're doing. This is a divine blessing from the seraphim. They are giving you two scoops to overflow your cup. And there's your Scorpio queen going, okay, I'm just going to forge onward. I'm taking the, taking the temperature of the outside world so that I know what I'm doing. She's looking toward the future. A little bit cautiously optimistic, but still ready to do it. Yes, life can be exhausting. I agree. <laughs> so here is the queen of swords, which means you're fixing to ace it. Whatever it is you're about to partake in or take on, this is you. Coming through it with a stellar outcome. Very much in the place of having the knowledge and being able to execute it in a way that puts you at the top. So, victory, victory, rah, rah, rah. Here comes the Queen of Swords. So, let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Three of Cups again. Divine Spirit. Spirit Guides. Gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So you had to jump here. You have the Three of Cups confirming this Three of Cups right on top of the, the follow the path of the Virgo where it's telling you follow your intuition. The Seraphim will meet you there. The Nine of Rods is on top of the Seven <clears throat> of Swords which is the energy of being patient enough to keep moving and, and focusing on the goal and not knowing when it's going to come through but knowing it will. There's the Queen of Pentacles. So this is the energy of grounded security, financial abundance, and being in that energy is a very big blessing because it is a queen. When we see the queen's energy, it's always fertility. So fertile energy with the regards of money. And this little page of swords. So when this does come in like a bucket load, you will have the ability to have discerning energy and the universe helps guide you here with this little, he's the informer, I call him. Then we have the Eight of Swords. And yes, that's right on top of that Eight of Rods. So what you have to do is go within and know that you can't just chase your tail and, and turn in circles and try to figure out. Go within and allow yourself to be guided by the beautiful energy of Divine. And don't get too confused and, and don't start, you know, rehashing it over and over. This is about you having the focus for the end result, not for you to do it physically. There's your seven of swords again. You got a lot of echoes. I call these echoes when they come in again and again. So there's that seven of swords saying you're letting go of the old so that you can make the new here. And that you're going to be divinely guided. The hand of the universe will be in this with you. 
and soul family energy. These are your tribe me members in your life now. They can be part of your actual family and they can be friends and co-workers. But this is the energy of they are here. They are supporting you. And the Wheel of Fortune, which we will take gladly because that totally pulls you out of that Five of Cups energy. The Wheel of Fortune releases karmic holds, moves all red lights to green, and shoots you like a catapult into your future, literally. So all doors open, all obstacles fall to dust at your feet as you are able to move forward in that beautiful Wheel of Fortune energy. Who doesn't love them some Wheel of Fortune? Because I know I do. And the Knight of Swords. This is the energy of being ready for that change to happen quick, fast, and in a hurry because that's a lightning strike energy and it's out of the blue all of a sudden. So the breakthrough is right there. You are right on the edge of it. Remember, when you're at the Nine of Rods energy, you have it twice, another echo. The It's the energy of any second. Any second the breakthrough is coming. So just know you have to kind of be in that place of anticipation and ready so that when it breaks through you go right to it and the nine is as close as you can get to the ten and the pisces moon keep your energy flowing toward the goal that you want not toward the fear right let go of all the little thoughts that come in that start to undermine your pre your presence and your success and you've got somebody to help you with that this is archangel ariel the lion of god with the strength card this is the Leo Major Arcana. So this is assistance being given divinely to help you stay on the path of moving forward and completing your goal here. So whatever you're working toward is working toward you. Remember, this moon is about you and it's like an embryo. So you're putting your energy toward it so that it continues to grow and come to fruition as all things that you want to create in life, it is all about your focus and intention. So don't give up, my darling Scorpios. You are right there on the edge of it, and it's so close you can taste it. Stay well. Stay in the energy of being in a good uh, sleep patterns and eat good food because you're going to need everything you can have because there's a lot of fast-moving energy here. So many blessings to you, and I will see you again in the middle of October. I send you love, light, peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and a ton of prosperity with a scoop of divine healing right on top. I'll see you guys soon. Namaste, my friends.